Radiation oncology is the branch of oncology that is cancer treatment, which deals with treating the tumors with radiation therapy. The role of radiation in cancer treatment is actually quite immense. Uh, by one estimate, as high as 80% of cancer patients require radiation therapy at one point or the other in their entire journey of cancer treatment. So how that helps, uh, you know, why, why that is such a case is because cancer is like a crab. And when they say cancer is like a crab, it's because the cancer has infiltration all around in surrounding tissues, which you don't see with the naked eye. And that is why radiation therapy is so important because we can take the margins into the natural and normal looking tissues so that the tumor cells can be finally eliminated. So this is one of the two modalities which can be, cause definitive cure in uh, uh, you know solid tumors. One is of course surgery and second is definitely radiation therapy. So radiation is you're focusing radiation beam to the tumor area and whatever is designated. So that is done in modern day making a mask, lying the patient down on a radiation machine. That is a colloquial term what we use as a linear accelerator and that linear or, or tomotherapy to that matter. So basically a radiation machine. And then the patient is treated by extensive focusing and uh, uh, positioning uh, exercise, which is called a setup and then the radiation beam is switched on and then the x-rays they go to the pre-designated area that is what is radiation therapy whereas chemotherapy is essentially giving any systemic therapy any medicine which acts systemically and that is in the entire system even when it is targeted it is given as a systemic therapy uh, you give it intravenously most of the time then it's also oral sometimes it's intraperitoneal sometimes it's intra-arterial but all these chemotherapeutics are basically medicines which are given with the intent of uh, causing chemical damage to the cancer and generally given systemically and to the whole body. So these are two separate things like uh, for all practical purposes an IV chemotherapy is just an IV uh, set which is hanging to your arm for all practical purposes. The latest revelation of technology is tomotherapy. Not only does the tomotherapy chisel the radiation beam in a high definition manner, what it does is it does not see the tumor in the in its entirety. It cuts the tumor down into its small parts and addresses each part separately. Physics wise, each part addressed separately gives a separate plan for each part of the tumor, which means the degree of freedom where we can spare the normal structures is huge. And that gives amazing results in the patient. Each and every patient who's undergoing any sort of radiation therapy can get it better, more focused manner and more personalized manner with tomotherapy. So it's not like any particular tumor is, uh, you know, not eligible for tomotherapy. So anybody who is planned for any sort of radiation therapy is probably going to get the best form of radiation with tomotherapy because it's going to be more focused, more high definition and uh, much more much more technologically advanced than uh, other things in prostatic cancers tomotherapy is marvelous because you are giving a very high dose in prostate cancers th th those are curative doses the general doses are not curative very high doses are curative and with this prostate cancer the rectum is lying just behind it and you can just save that that thing in head and neck cancers where the field can go all the way from the base of skull right up to the shoulder bones these things, the tomotherapy is very, very effective. So yes, these are the places where the margin of benefit is more than what can be others, but it, but every patient can benefit.